Airbus Group announced it plans to start production at its first U.S. factory for the A321 jetliner. Originally, Airbus planned on building the A320 there, but demand for bigger aircraft pushed Airbus to make the move to the larger A321. Through September, Airbus has 311 gross orders for the A321, including 135 with the current engine option in 2016 and 176 for the A321 with newer engines to be released later. The A321 competes with the Boeing 737-900 and 737 MAX. It seats about 185 passengers but can accommodate up to 224 economy carriers. Airlines have been improving their efficiency by moving to larger aircraft, which lowers the per-seat cost. Both the Airbus 321 and the B737 series remain metallic aircraft, which bodes well for increased consumption of aluminum. And with Airbus's move to domestic production here in the U.S., aluminum producers and distributors should have new opportunities for additional business. Following the move to aluminum by carmakers Ford, Jaguar, and Toyota, Chrysler has announced the next-generation Jeep Wrangler will feature an aluminum body to save weight and improve fuel efficiency. The carmaker said the Wrangler will remain a body-on-frame vehicle. Because Chrysler won't make the switch to unibody construction, Wrangler assembly will probably stay in Toledo, indicating Wrangler production should increase for U.S. dealers and for export. Other than the aluminum body, there are still many unknowns about the redesigned Wrangler due in 2017. The Wrangler has been called a rolling brick because of its lack of aerodynamics, leaving us to wonder if there will be major changes to the overall shape. And China's drive to build electric cars should create a surge in demand for aluminum. China is legendary as the world's largest carbon emitter and has mandated that at least 30% of new government vehicles be powered by alternative energy by 2016 for, among other reasons, to combat its chronic pollution problem. The use of aluminum in auto bodies by China, Japan, and South Korea is expected to grow at about 30% a year for at least the next decade. For more, visit the aluminumchannel.com. Thanks for watching.